Good morning, students. Uh, welcome to the last uh, video, third video of uh, solving additional mathematics paper 2, 4037, variation 22, May, June 2018. In my last two videos, I have uh, solved up to question number 9. Let's do question number 10 today. It says, on the axis below, sketch the graph y equal to modulus sine or absolute value sine x plus 3, x minus 5, showing the coordinates of the point where the curve meet the x-axis. Now this is x plus 3 so it's going to be minus 3 over here and that's minus 5 so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this, this points where this graph intersect the x-axis we got it. But what about on y? Okay so on y-axis let me draw this graph first. Okay if I don't have the modular sign then y is going to be x squared minus 2x minus 15. So dy dx, the turning point would be at 2x minus 2. Uh, at stationary point, it's going to be 0, 2x minus 2. So x is going to be 1. So when x equal to 1, I'm going to have the minimum value in this particular case. And what is the coordinates of that? y is going to be 1 minus 2 minus 15. So that's going to be minus 16. So this graph is supposed to be coming something like this and like this. And this particular point is 5, 0. This one is minus 3, 0. And this place is 1 minus 16. But it's modular sign. So it's going to be reflect. And it's going to be somewhere up here. And I'm going to use this thing. So it's going to be something like this. And this uh, coordinates of the point would be 1, 16. Okay. Now, I do need to find out this one. Okay. Where it intersect this uh, y axis. Okay. Because it says that where it, oh, it says only meet the x axis. So that's fine. I, I have found in x axis. Okay. So that's done. Okay. Write down a suitable domain for the function this such that f has an inverse. Uh, now, there are so many different ways you can do that x can be greater than 0 so you're going to have this and it would have a inverse function inverse function is if you have a function like this let's say it's like that it's a function of x okay so inverse function should be going like that that's inverse function and it's going to be reflected on y equal to x axis okay now you can see that if if i if i draw this one Okay, there are so many ways I can do this. I can I can just write down x has to be greater than 5. Okay, so that's a sensible one. It didn't say actually which where I have to take the domain. It's a suitable domain. Or I can take x is greater than 0. Okay, or x is less than 0. Okay, either one will do. Okay, so that's up to you. Okay, the function g and h are defined by this, 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 find h g x. So h, what is g x? g x is 3x minus 1. Now we're going to go for h of x. So that's going to be 4. In the place of x, we're going to put 3x minus 1. So that's my answer for this first one. Now find a g inverse x. Okay, so... Let's do HGX, okay? What is HGX? Now, to get that, I have to find out, uh, I have to go from this. HGX is this, okay? Let's take this one to be, uh, let's say, Y equal to 4, 3X minus 1. We need to make X is the subject, so 3X minus 1 equal to 4 by Y. So, we can continue from here. Okay, so x is going to be 4 by y plus 1. Then this 3 is going to go and it's going to be like that. So we are done. A g of inverse x equal to 1 by 3, 4 by x plus 1. It didn't say which form we have to do, so that should do it. Okay, you can take the bracket off and multiply that. Okay, now given that, P of A equal to B and that the function P has an inverse. Write down P inverse of B. Okay. Now let's say for an example, if I have function of X equal to 2X, we take this one Y 
and we make this one 2x we're going to make x is the subject so x is going to be uh, uh, y by 2 so that time we can say that inverse function of x equal to x by 2 same way if we do that then it's going to be p a equal to b so taking this one y equal to b so b equal to y so that gonna be p inverse b and that's gonna be what that's gonna be my a now over here look at this this is if i if i put that b so inverse b and that gonna be this particular place over here is a and think of this one to be one so that's that okay so p of uh, p of a equal to b when we have inverse p inverse b is equal to a okay so that's that now question number 11 find uh, integration of that okay so i hope you uh, know this formula if you have ax plus b to the power n dx then its integration is going to be ax plus b n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and this coefficient of x is multiplied and of course there is a constant c so this is going to be integrate of 2x minus 1 to the power 1 by 3 dx so it's going to be 2x minus 1 uh, 1 by 3 plus 1 that's going to give me 4 by 3 so we can write down 4 by 3 and over here 4 by 3 times coefficient of that is 2 plus c so this 3 going to go up there 3 and then below here is going to be 4 to the 8 and this is going to be 2x minus 1 to the power 4 by 3 plus c so that's my final answer now find integration of sine 4x now this one sine <coughs> excuse me gonna be minus cos 4x and this 4 gonna be down here plus c so it's gonna be minus 1 by 4 cos 4x plus c so that's my answer for that one two marks okay hence solve this so what happened if i have that instead of that i can write down 1 by 4 cos 4x and then over here pi by 4 pi by 8 okay so what can i do i can just write down this equation minus 1 by 4 means 25 uh, then cos uh, 4 alpha that now i'm gonna do calculate pi by 4 so i'm gonna have 1 by 4 over here and then uh, calculate pi by 8 so that's going to be 0 minus 0 that's going to give me 1 by 4 that's my final answer okay now show that left hand side equal to ln 8 0 e to the power x by 3 dx now it's exponential function integration of exponential function is going to be e x to the power 3 divided by the coefficient of power x 1 by 3 and then over here is ln 8 and this is 0 so that's going to be 3 e to the power x by 3 now ln 8 means uh, it can be ln 8 can be written as ln 2 to the power 3 or 3 ln 2 so if i put this one over here 3 e to the power uh, this is 3 ln 2 divided by 3 minus 3 e to the power 0 by 3 so that 3 3 cross out and e to the power ln 2 means 2 you can you can use the calculator that ln ln 2 okay that's gonna give you 2 so 3 times 2 and e to the power 0 equal to 1 so minus 3 so 6 minus 3 is 3 that's my final answer okay so that's done okay question number 12 in this question all lengths are in centimeter okay the volume of a cone of a height is given it is known that sine pi by 12 is this cos pi by 12 is this and okay a water cup in the shape of a cone with its axis vertical the diagram show the cup and its cross section the vertical angle of the 
cone is pi by 6 radian. The depth of the water in the cup is 8. So that uh, H, the surface of the water of the circle is radius R. Find an expression for R in terms of H. Okay. To do that, what I'm going to do, we're going to just draw a triangle over here. See that through this a triangle so this is gonna be R this thing is gonna be R that's right angle and this is gonna be H so half of this one is gonna be over here so half let me put half times pi by 6 that's gonna be pi by 12 so that's gonna be pi by 12 now it's gonna be op y adjacent so 10 pi by 12 equal to oppo by adjacent so i have to find out r in terms of h so r equal to h and 10 pi by 12 the value is given over here 2 minus root 3 so that's r in terms of h done now we have to find out the volume now volume of this thing we know it's a cone 1 by 3 pi r square h now r we got that okay so 1 by 3 pi r is going to be h 2 minus square root 3 whole square h okay now it's going to be 1 by 3 pi now it's going to be h square if i take this bracket off on this uh, 2 minus root 3 if i have power 2 we can use a minus b whole squares formula a square minus 2ab plus b square to do that 2 square is 4 now 2 times 2 so minus 4 root 3 and root 3 square is 3 and that's going to be h so over here 1 by 3 pi then this is going to be h cubed and this is going to be 7 minus 4 root 3 now look at this one the way it says we're going to organize that pi then bring this one over here 7 minus 4 root 3 h cube divided by 3 and we can write down shown okay so that's done and then water is poured into the cup at a rate of 30 cubic centimeter per second so when it's like that see this is the unit of volume and this is the unit of time so given dv dt equal to 30 cubic centimeter per second okay uh, correct to two decimal place and the rate at which the depth so dh dt equal to what that's what we want to find out when h equal to five centimeter that's all the information given okay so we got we need to find out dh dt so we have here r okay we can write down dv dt equal to dv dh times dh dt so this dh dt we need and dvdt we have it we don't have dvdh but we have the volume over here so volume over here we had um, pi 7 minus 4 root 3 what, whatever we are doing we are just copying this okay whatever that one was so 7 minus 4 root 3 h cubed by 3 so dvdh is gonna be only all i need is that so it's 3 pi 7 minus 4 root 3 h square divided by 3 this this cross out okay and then dvdt was uh we are coming from here okay let's do it this one we just find it out so from here we can write down dvdt i have 30 okay and this one dvdh i have pi then 7 minus 4 root 3 and h is given 5 so 5 cubed so 5 cubed and below here is uh, nothing and then i have dh dt so i can write down dh dt equal to 30 then 5 cubed is gonna be uh, oh sorry actually this is 5 square okay so that's going to be 25 then pi 7 minus 4 root 3 let's use the calculator 25 pi then 7 minus 4 root 3 root 3 
that so 30 divided by that I got 5.32 h is centimeter and time per second or centimeter second to the power minus one okay so that's that and that was it thank you for watching if you have any question leave it in the comment box i'll get back to you thank you have a good day